Hi everyone, thank you so much for being with me today. I had a very busy morning today because I have to take advantage of the good weather and I have quite a few tasks I have been postponing. This morning I had to lift three oleanders I had in the garden and I'm going to replace them by a lemon tree, a new lemon tree. If you follow me, you remember I had a very beautiful lemon tree, which was full of lemons last winter. But all of a sudden, during the summer, it, um, kill, it killed over. Uh, it dried and killed over. So <laughs> I had to find a new place. Uh, a bit uh, further away because it was maybe too uh, close to another bush I have so uh, to find a, a new place for him I had to leave these oleanders and you cannot imagine how hard it was <laughs> they had such thick roots I, I didn't imagine Anyway, it's all done. It's a big relief. And now I just finished my lunch, which is uh, my meal of the day. And uh, I'm ready uh, to go and uh, repot uh, two Symbidium, the last ones I bought. And uh, I'm inviting you to come with me. And there are they. I have them here in this bucket, which has uh, rainwater soaking because uh, it will be much easier to untangle, untangle the roots. Some of their flowers are going over, but others are quite beautiful. Look at that. Very, very beautiful. And um, I have uh, all my setup. I have here these uh, pots. I two of each. I don't know yet which ones I'm going to use. I will have it to try. I have scissors. I have a substrate. Some old cloths to wipe my hands. I have this bucket here where I've been putting old substrate and old leaves and which will go in the compost bin afterwards and um, I'm going to set the tripod now and uh, start give it a start so let's start here um, to start with uh, I will cut off these uh, flowers I still can put them in a jar and um, enjoy them for a little while longer these flowers do very well in um, in jars as uh, cut flowers I have a friend of a friend that has uh, uh, several of um, these plants she has in fact lots of cymbidium and um, she grows them on purpose to cut these spikes and to take them home. Well, <laughs> uh, I don't uh, personally. I, I um, I'm not fond of um, cut flowers. I prefer to have them in the garden. But um, nowadays we can see these sold as cut flowers in in the flower shops as well. Stay there for the time being and uh, let's see I have lots of cleaning to do here lots of sheets that's why I have the uh, my um, bucket with uh, with green litter which I'm gathering here and uh, when it's uh, full I'll take uh, I'll take it to the upper part of the garden. So here there are lots of um, old sheets that uh, we should remove. Not only because um, 
they um, they are not very beautiful <laughs> they don't make the plant beautiful but also because they can hide pests besides sometimes they um, make uh, the um, growth of new growth more difficult because they are stuck under these um, hard sheets but that that is why we must be careful when we take the sheets because we can find something growing underneath This is a very boring task, but uh, it must be done carefully. I have here some uh, new growths that grew at the same time as the plant was in, uh, in bloom. I heard some people say that um, cymbidium do not grow uh, new growths. They don't start new growths before flowering, which is not true. At least mine, they uh, grow flowers, they grow flower spikes, and they grow new growths at the same time. Last year, I was uh, very careless with my cymbidium. I think I was, um, how do you say, overconfident with them and I neglected them a little bit. I took them for granted, but uh, I'm not going to do the same mistake this year. I have already checked the roots of all the others. I have um, removed some, um, some um, dyed... Uh, mushy roots not many but some and have cleaned uh, the root systems and uh, have uh, repotted them some of them others were okay uh, this flower is uh, broke here so i better take it off and uh, it's about cleaned and as you can see we have here a very tight root ball and um we have to untangle this uh, this uh, root ball otherwise if we just uh, put this in a pot in a new pot uh, a larger pot with uh, substrate all around the uh, roots will not grow properly so what i'm going to do first is uh, take them i don't know if you can see but I'm going to put them in this bucket and try to remove some of the uh, some of the medium, which is not easy. Maybe I will have to untangle them first here. No, I don't see much roots or anything. Maybe this one here, the ones on top that were being dried but um, they are all good it breaks my heart <laughs> but i have to break some of them and uh, this is what i do see now it's much easier to to take all this substrate in the water Not enough yet. I'll have to do it on the other side as well. But it's okay because these roots they um, they branch, and uh, at a certain point they um, they will 
they will have a very good system branching out of this one. check <laughs> I never saw a plug in these ones but you never know and in fact I I can see some moss here how odd this is very very odd But um, it was nice to check and to realize there was sort of a plug there. Some more. So you can see here, I have um, a new growth here. There are still some dried um, sheets here, but I'm uh, afraid of breaking this new growth. I'll take it more with more time. And uh, there's another one here, and it's already a second one <laughs> sprouting there, and uh, another one there, and um, it's uh, good to... Uh, a good plant as I can see so most of it uh, most of the old substract uh, is gone let me see if I have some roots I might um, have to, to take out of here some of them has have uh, broken and um, I cannot leave them inside the pot To see what is that? Oh, it's a bit of coconut um, choir or, or what was something like that. I must still clean this part here. It is not. I broke this one. This one is a good root, but the uh, part of it is um, is gone. Very good roots, but uh, they usually are. This uh, broke, this part is good, but uh, there is a part of the, of the velamen that is gone here. So this, will, this part will be good it would be good in the plant for quite some time but then afterwards would rot after uh, some time so we better cut it same here i broke it a while a while ago and uh, let us see this is not good either Another one, same way, as you can see. Mm. 
this one is mushy on the, the tip this one lost the velum this one also same thing oh I hate when I lose roots but <laughs> in this case we I had two but uh, anyway there are plenty of them here This is what <laughs> remained in the water, but then now I remove it and put it in the um, uh, green uh, litter, like that. And um, I even have something better. This is an old uh, Thing from the kitchen that's what I use here and then like that I clean this water from this debris which is good for the compost okay and um, Nice and clean. Oh, and there is another, another one in the middle of the plants. Another um, new growth. There's still some. Some sheets here. That must be taken off. Because they might they may hide the new um, new growth. They are very thick and hard to pull and must be careful not to damage anything. Okay, I think it's about good now. I'm going to do the same to the other one and I'll be right back to the repotting. No need to see the same process again. Well, this is the second one and um, I did an experiment on this one. That is the first one, as you noticed, I ripped the root ball apart just like that with my hands and with this one I thought maybe if I cut the roots with the scissors uh, maybe I won't lose as many roots but uh, it was the other way around I lost many more although it's no problem because uh, there are lots of them here but anyway that's good to know Ripping them apart is better, at least in the cases I, I am dealing with today. This one is, um, is great here, well, has plenty of uh, new growths. There's one there. There were two here. I, I think I just broke this one. But there's another one behind and um, another two here. Can you see how they grow one on top of each other? Another one, two more there. Looks like a staircase. I 
hope you you are in frame or i am in frame this is a new growth then you have we have another one right there close to it and um that's it <laughs> and that's good i still have a few ones here to dream oh yes this is the one i broke oh what a shame but it's okay i have so many anyway i feel sad anyway <laughs> we want it all I'm just going to clean up this dirt and I'll be right back. And uh, it's all cleaned up. And uh, so this is the first one. This was the second one. Now let's see the size of the pots. I should use. They, they have long roots and what I would like would be longer pots, but I couldn't find them. Anyway, I guess this size is okay because um, they bloom faster if they are tight in the pot and anyway i think uh, this one is right let me see this one well the mouth is about the same width well maybe this one it's not much bigger and it's taller. Okay, I'm going to do it with this one. And uh, this one about the same thing. The problem is that they start growing all around and uh, I, I need a space. But that one, I would have it, but um, this one is taller. I like it better. So now, the medium I use the medium I use is this one. I used this one in the previous recordings, which they say it's special substract for orchids. But I don't like this. Uh, this is mostly coconut husk. And um, It's too wet. This came from the store just um, last week. It was not in the rain, neither there or here, and it's too wet. This means, look at that. See? This goes to the compost. I don't like that. And so what I did, I bought some some um, pine bark which is cheap pine bark for my other orchids epiphytes i use orchiata bark but this one is okay for the same video and it will make uh, the um, substract more aerate more aer aeration to it and uh, not keeping the um, substrate the medium wet at all times which i don't like my sim medium uh, they uh, take um, sun only in the afternoon and uh, late afternoon and with um, this coconut husk they stay wet uh, all times one of the things i noticed last year last year last summer was not tight was not either warm or sunny it was not not as sunny nor as warm as usual and uh, i was um, reluctant 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 <laughs> to um, 
to water the orchids because the cymbidium because um, I was afraid that uh, they would be too wet and in fact they were and the reason why some um, roots were mushy when I uh, unpotted them a while ago. In fact, the, the first orchids, the first cymbidium I had, I repotted them in dirt. I didn't know any better. When I came from the store, I repot them in dirt. And then after that, I, rush, I rushed <laughs> and repot them. And then uh, more um, relaxed, I went to, to research and I said, oh my God, what did I do? And then I unpotted and I added some um, some bark. I added leaves. I had um, a conifera that was shedding leaves and uh, they were sort of dried out. And I added that to the dirt. And uh, the fact is that they did wonderfully, as you saw. Uh, in the last year, one of the reasons why they didn't do well was because they were in just this crappy thing I don't like. This year I was very tempted to put uh, dirt again. I just didn't have that conifera anymore because it died. <laughs> so I found this solution. Anyway, so now I'm going to to get some uh, I'm going to get some croaking for the pot to put in the bottom. I considered putting some um, stones in the bottom, but then I decided to put some lacquer. I'll just put this tissue paper at the bottom because it has very large holes. There are very large holes at the bottom of the pot and the lacquer might um, come out. about this with uh, two fingers with the lacquer then some medium here and I hope it's okay no it's not okay for this one this one is shorter yes this one will go first I will center the plant because the plant has um, new growths all around. A bit of shaking so that um, the substrate will go inside the, the root ball now that uh, the sun is shining on me I'm feeling hot I have several um, new growths set right at the base of the plant. 
and um, last year I had some of them that rotted uh, maybe I don't know why maybe because they were too low in the pot so this year I'm going to put them a bit higher I'm not going to water now because um, firstly because the plant is hydrated enough secondly because um, the roots have uh, suffered uh, cuts and uh, this way uh, they will have uh, more opportunity and more chances of the healing and uh, but as soon as I start watering this uh, substrate will go down even down more down in the pot they will fit in inside so what i'll do i'll put some of this uh, bark all around it will keep uh, humidity around uh, the this the roots at the surface of the pot but um, will not keep too much humidity there so this one is done my dog came to drink water these dogs they drink so much water so glad they drink water not wine <laughs> Where are they? most thirstiest dogs i know yes stepping on my scene video huh <laughs> okay this one is done and I'll put it there and uh, let's go for the other one and I'll get the tissue paper here at the bottom and I'll put the uh, the beads maybe less make some more of this. water this and look how they drip water into the litter bin let's leave something for the top dressing so to speak oh my god I hate this but anyway, I don't want uh, to, um, to put just um, bark because uh, these are terrestrials and um, just bark, it will be too airy and not only uh, just too airy. They, they need um, this uh, thin um, thing like dirt to grab to the roots just um, bark it would be that would wouldn't happen and so i prefer to be like that okay 
so no. I could even mix some uh, lacquer beads in this uh, medium to make it even more airy. Maybe I'll do that. There you go. If we can put the roots to the side, it will be better. Like that, and then um, also centered, central in the pot because it has uh, new parts all around. So I don't want to leave it too lower in the pot for the same reasons as the other one. I don't have any more seed videos to pot this year unless I buy some. <laughs> we never know. I was looking for for a long time. I've been looking for a wine colored one. And uh, the first time I saw it, it cost uh, 60 euros. It was three years ago. And I didn't find it um, worthwhile, 60 euros. There were so many orchids I wanted at the time. But, um, but now that I am... Um, Thinning the, the herd, <laughs> like Todd said, and uh, that I know it more exactly what I want, and I, I don't want too many orchids, I want just a few, and I know better what uh, is supposed to do better. With my type of growing. So now I would give the 60 euros if it were a nice plant, because... Now I can appreciate more that color. It was so beautiful. It was uh, because there is no red in Symbidions. But uh, that was such uh, a nice color. And uh, when I went to, to the um, nursery on my birthday, I was intending to see if I could get one. And they had one there, but they had just sold it. Well, not exactly the, 
the, the one I had seen before, but that will do. It was very nice. They had it in the, in the site. And, um, well, no problem. I'm not rushing. Things come when they come. And uh, my task is done. I'm going to leave them in the sun. For some time. For, uh, for the rest of the afternoon. And uh, there they are. As you've seen, I planted them in um, these pl plastic um, pots. And uh, then I like to put them in the uh, clay pots. I love clay pots, but I don't love clay pots for orchids. Because the um, roots get stuck. And uh, so I prefer to do, to do like this. And um, the they get um, they don't get too warm being uh, inside the clay pots, but they are not directly inside them. Something else I would like to say: I'm not going to put the osmocote, uh, which I usually do. I'm just going to put the osmocote uh, next month, or within at least uh, two or three weeks. I want to give them the opportunity to heal of the wounds in the roots. And um, this is it for today. I hope you have enjoyed it. And uh, I'll finish with uh, these blooms here. Announces, announcing spring. Narcissus. Some more here. And weeds. <laughs> this one is lovely too. Well, everything is growing. Never stop growing. Anyway. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.